Hello everybody and welcome back to Super Tech Services. This is Brian again. I got another quick video for you. How to scan to SMB using a Konica copier while using a Mac. So what you want to do is make sure you got your Ethernet cord plugged in and your machine is networked. If your machine's not networked, go watch my video on how to network a Konica copier. So first thing, just go ahead and hit the utilities button, administrator settings, and enter your administrator password. The default is one through eight. All right, once you're in there, let's go ahead and hit network settings and then SMB settings at the bottom. And you're gonna to wanna to turn on the client settings right there. And go ahead and turn it to version one two, NTLM version one and two. That's the settings that work for me and everything else you can just leave uh, on, just uh, leave the uh, everything else the same. That's all I had to do was turn that on. Now under SMB server settings, same thing, turn that on here and leave everything else the same. You can change the host name if you want to. I left mine the same. Like I said, these are the settings that work for me. I left the print off. I don't need SMB printing and share SMB, make sure that's on, that should be on by default. So that's all you should have to do on the copier side, that's all I had to do. Uh, the wins was automatically on and direct hosting was already on as well, so you shouldn't have to touch those, but make sure they're on just in case. Go ahead and exit out and let's get over to your computer. Oh, actually I turned the power off and on. You don't need to, but uh, like I said, I always like to. All right, now that we're over at the computer, just uh, go to your home page and create a new folder and title it Shares. You can name this whatever you want, but just to make it easy, I name mine Scans. I'm sorry, not Shares, Scans. And just put that on your desktop. All right, now that that's on your desktop, just go over to your System Preferences, Apple Menu, System Preferences, and you're gonna wanna click on that little folder that says Sharing. And then on the left where it says file sharing, just go ahead and click on that. Then just hit the plus button there like you see there and you're gonna wanna scroll over to the scans folder. Mine's on the desktop and just hit add. And then you can see it's giving me the IP address of my laptop. After you're done there, hit options, click on your username and uh, click your password, I mean put in your password and hit okay and make sure you have read and write access where your user password is. As you can see, mine already had it there, so I didn't have to do anything. And jot down your IP address, you might need that. You're probably gonna need that. Now go into the web interface and type in the IP address of the copier. And once you're there, just log in as an administrator, as you're seeing I'm doing here. Same thing, the default password is one through eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now that we're at the main menu, just go ahead and click on Store Address, New Registration, and then SMB, and press OK. Now here's where you're gonna enter your information. Um, so first thing, just go ahead and put your name. I have Test SMB. I want that to appear on the main screen, so I check Main, you don't have to. Under Host Address, this you can put your host name of your computer or the IP address. I'm just using the IP address. This is of your laptop, of your Mac. The file path will just be scans. So all you have to do is type scans, spell it correctly, obviously. User ID of your laptop or computer, and then the password of your computer. And then hit OK. After that's done, let's just go ahead and hit return. And then log out. And then press OK. That way you want to make sure you're logged out so when you go back over to the copier to scan. All right, so here's the page I want to scan. I just threw it in the copier there. Now we're just going to go over, hit the menu button at the top there, scan in fax. And test MB should pop right up. So it's already set for SMB. Put your document in face up on the feeder or face down on the glass and go ahead and hit start. As you can see, we got no errors and the data symbol went away. So that's a really good sign that everything's working. So now we just come back over to the computer, click on your scans folder, and bam, it is there sitting just like so. So you guys, this is how to scan to SMB using a Konica copier on a Mac. 
there's going to be one other thing I want to talk about here, which is going to be your IP address. Now, if your IP address changes, which I'm going to show you in a minute, so just go over to System Preferences and click on Network. And if you're running DHCP, which most people are, your IP address could change, and that's going to cause an issue when you go to scan again. So you can go ahead and click on, um, let me see, Advanced. And I'm just going through some of the uh, stuff here. I'm going to click on Advanced and TCP IP. And it says using DHCP. Now you can change this to use using DHCP with manual address, and um, you can either set a static IP address, uh, contact your IT, or do it yourself. Set a static IP address for your laptop so it always connects to the static IP, or you can um, do set a manual one through your computer. Um, so you would just type in your address right there, the 221, but you would do it using a manual, and it'll always keep that address. So with that said, guys, keep your IP address the same. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.